keeping count of. Happy birthday, Aiden. This is gonna be your birthday chocolate mousse pie that we're gonna teach you how to make today. So this is the introduction and how to make the crust. So it's gonna take it away, Chef Roy. Hi there. So, welcome to our kitchen. Um, first, I'd like to show you what is gonna be in your package that you're gonna be getting. You're gonna be getting a pound of uh, confection of sugar, powdered sugar. You're going to be getting eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. We like Ghirardelli. We Ghirardelli, but that's okay. We never buy Nestle products. Hershey's. And Nestle products. And there's going to be two packages of Nabisco Famous chocolate wafer cookies. You'll probably only need a, one and a half boxes of that when you do this recipe, so you'll have to eat the rest of it. We're also going to send you a th uh, thermometer. You need a thermometer for the uh, chocolate. And we recommend, if you can get a hold of a, a rubber spatula, uh, one of these, a, a small one, a big one, but if you, if you want to buy one, buy the red handle one because that's for heat. You could do hot stuff with that. It's much better because the, the white one, you don't want to melt into your food. Uh, so that's what you're going to uh, need. Um, or you, you're going to receive from us, except for the spatulas. You also need a springform pan, an electric mixer, and you'll have to purchase a stick of butter. And this recipe takes three large eggs. White, brown, red, blue, we don't care what color it is, but they have to be large. And they need to be organic. Since this recipe is not cooked, you need to buy organic eggs. They're safe. So that's the ingredients. So uh, to start, we're gonna do the, uh, the crust. So here we have our pan. We already did our chocolate wafers. We got these nice and uh, fine uh, ground. Uh, and the best way to do this, if you have the availability of, an, of a food processor, which is right here, does the best job. It takes three, it's um, half a minute and it's done. If not, you may have to lay the crackers on a tabletop and with a rolling pin which is not the best way to do it but if you have to you have to but as fine as you can make them the better uh, the other thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, melt which we're going to do right here you're going to melt a stick of butter uh, for the crust so the crust uh, in includes three cups of cracker crumbs and one cup of melted butter. And Chef Roy, how long does it take to melt the butter? The butter would melt uh, if the, our microwaves are the same, probably uh, 30 seconds maybe? Th probably 30 seconds. And if you take it out and it's not totally melted, you just stir it because most of it's hot enough, it'll melt the rest of it. So that's the way to do it. And then with a fork, just mix it all together. And as you're mixing it, it gets thicker and the butter gets the crumbs to really stick together and uh, they'll be able to be pressed together. Uh, so just keep mixing it till I'll show you how what this what this looks like. Uh, it's getting clumpier and clumpier. Is that an official cooking term? Yes, clumpy. Clumpy is an official term, and um, you just th have this to is, know. This is uh, at this point. It's probably. 
uh, on a clumpy scale, probably a three. We want to get to at least a five uh, clumpy scale. Uh, well, I'm getting there close. It's getting close. So, uh, all right. I think we're we're pretty close. All right. So, and then you can see that it really has a very different texture. It's it's thick. If, if I take this and go like this, it lumps. That's what you want. So now we're going to take our spring foam pan and just dump that into the pan. You see how it clumped already? Get it all out of there. Rubber spatulas are a really miracle tools. So you really the best one of the best tools in the kitchen. Then you with your clean hands take the crumbs and press them around the pans inside. Don't worry about not having enough in the bottom yet. Worry about the sides first. Yeah, we're going to take some off the uh, off the sides as you're doing this to get the bottom covered. But just start the sides first, and then when you get it in there, you just start to pull some from the sides. And it really doesn't have to be all the way to the top. I put it all the way to the top. It's ne uh, not necessary because the filling won't go all the way to the top. So you have all that extra. So then you just pat it in there. Yummy, yum. Yummy, yum. There we go. And uh, that's how it should look. Then you take that pan and you put it into the refrigerator. And that butter will harden it up and make it a nice solid crust. So that's the uh, first part of the process. That ends our first installment of the cooking class. There's two, possibly three more installments. So, uh, yay. <laughs> It'll be delicious when it's done. Push the red button now.